Uh, hi Colin, uh, in this video I will show you how to use Clarisoft program. Okay, this program uh, will be installed and activated by uh, you or VideoJet guys. I don't know how to do this, but it should be activated on your uh, PC because the license is, you know, uh, paid license. Okay, it's not for free. So after uh, installing and activating this program I will show you how to use it so first when I first open the program I will have this uh, page so I will start a new project from here as you can see a new project okay after when I first get a new project he will ask me for the device I am using okay the device type I am using so I will check it VG 8520 for example after that he will ask me how many hits i have so i will tell him for example three hits and he asked me if all the hits will write just like the first head or a different image it's up to you for example i will say all like head one after that i will uh, select the uh, walking area how many millimeters please note that the height of the image just here uh, you cannot change it okay because this is uh, represents the cartridge head okay the ink uh, head so it's just just leave it as the default while you can change the width area okay I will say okay so here I have this white this is the walking area on my of my cartridge so and I will add to this walking area the different items like text barcode image etc date I will start now so I will add a text as you can see I added a text I will press and I will get into the options I will change the name of the text I will go so I change it the text I can move it and I can make it bigger or smaller I will add another text okay again double click get in exp and I have added please you can see I can move it and I have this uh, blue knobs control knobs using this knob you can make it bigger or smaller and you can move it right left okay after that I will add another item for example date sorry date okay I added a date I will drag and drop double click I will get in you can choose the format of the date okay up to you oh, I will say just a dinner. after that uh, I can for example uh, I will put the date okay the date is on now I move it now, for example, production date is okay. Now I will go to the expiry date and I will make the machine, I will make the program to calculate my uh, expiry date. I will not calculate it manually. Uh, so, for example, I will get in again, I will get a new date text. Okay, I drop it, drag and drop. I get in, double click. I will go to uh, date to use. Yes, look, date to use. I will go calculate date. After that, calculating manager, okay, press. After that, I will say new, new calculated date. Calculate, calculation name, I will give him a name, for example, EXP. I am calculating the expiry date. Okay, I will go now, uh, offset. Here I have default offset, okay, one, years. So the offset of the date will be one offset by years so for example if i get in 22 i will have in the output 23 because i made an offset for one year very well i will go with okay okay and as you can see okay again okay so as you can see it is automatically calculated the date for me with one year offset oh very well Okay, the other items is just like price, 
uh, barcode, logo, drawing, etc. So all of these items just drag and drop to walking area. After that, double click to get in and you can make all the changes you want. Uh, one thing more, I have a text box with one line or two line. It's not flexible uh, to make it bigger or lower. I am talking about the rows. I have another option just below, let us go down, which is flexible text. Okay, text block. Okay, I will drag and drop. And you can see this text block has a lot of rows. I can enter a lot of rows here. Okay, chokes are three above it. Okay, whatever, satellite chalk also. You see, I am making a lot of rows. After that, when I am finished, then I am okay, come up, okay, very well. From, from the control knobs, you can control the length, width, volume, big, small, move, whatever you want. Now I will add barcode. So as you go to go to barcode, see as Okay. Okay. You uh, you choose the kind of the barcode you need. You okay? Get okay. Double click to get it in. You can change the barcode data. Okay. Okay. Now, very important, very important note for you, Colin. As I told you, this white area is the width and the length of the writings the let me say the walking area of me i can make it bigger or smaller just for the preview okay it will not be uh, bigger on the machine or in the video jet device so the device will not write bigger characters just for me to make it easier for my eye i can make it bigger the walking area from here okay i will press so it is bigger, but it is not bigger on the real uh, writings. It's just bigger for me, okay? I'm just making a bigger scale for me, for my eye. Okay, very well. Uh, this is all about the Clarity Soft program. It's in English. Uh, it's very user-friendly. Uh, thank you very much, Colin. The next video, I will show you the, the machine on the... Okay, one thing more before before cutting. I need to cut because we finished our walk. We need to cut from here, okay? Yes. Where? Huh. So, we will press here. Okay. Okay. Six and So, I see that it's enough for me, 80 millimeters. I will go again to here, enter image width, 80. Okay. So, as you can see, it's cut. So after making, after making my all my edits, I need to cut it on the on the certain area I I have just used. Okay. After that, I will save it for sure. So a new from this menu, new. Okay, save as, okay, I will go to the flash memory, USB flash, I have it here, okay, I will give it a name, text, uh, sorry, not, not, not to the USB, it's just to the uh, desktop, text with this extension, CIFF, CIF, I will save. Okay, so now it is on. I save this walk on the desktop. Okay, yeah. I will say now print. I will go here. I will print a file. USB okay, I will print now this walk on the USB. So from the command print, you you need to see the the, the, the USB here. Current image. So it's printed now to the USB. Okay.
completed bitti komple kapans pencere kapanca uh -huh. so it's automatically closed and everything is okay so after saving the work on the desktop i will go to the print and i will print this work to a usb as i show you usb içine girelim okay now we will come back to inside the usb okay as you can see so this is my usb and you can jobs jobs you can see it has created a folder jobs and this is my work text okay in the next video i will show you how to upload this to the video jet device thanks Okay, Colin, so I just brought the USB flash I prepared on the PC and I will put it here in the device, okay? I put it and I will turn it on, okay? Turn on and I will wait uh, for the system to, to be ready. Uh, I will show you now in this video how to transfer the program we made on the PC and we saved it on this USB, how to transfer it to the system, to the memory of this screen. So as I told you, I put in, I turn it on and I'm waiting. So it's the same program, you see Clarity, uh, Clarity Soft. Uh, so we are almost ready and okay as you can see now the system is shut down it's shut down I will go first of all to the settings okay I will go to the database as you can see I have internal and external I will go short sure to the external and inside it I see my job the job I made text we give it this name so and I will say transfer so he is ask me he is asking me are you sure yes okay now okay so now I just transferred the job I made on the PC I transferred it to the internal memory of this device okay I will go to the main page and I will go to the jobs okay now the jobs are the internal uh, internal memory of this device as you can see, I have three jobs here. This is the job I just added. And these two jobs are all jobs. So this is my job. I just added. I will press. Okay. Wait. Okay. And as we talked, the three heads was the same. I will say okay. And now I'm ready. I will turn it on because it was shut down. It is starting up now, the system. After starting the system up, the system is offline. I will make it online from this button. So go online, go offline, or totally shut down. Okay, now the system is running. I will go to the settings. In the settings, okay, the database uh, uh, is done. We, we talked about the internal memory, the, out, the external memory. Now the setup. The setup. The most important one is the print head. In the print head, as you can see, this system contains of three print heads, and I have the other settings. The first setting is the, let me say, the density of the writing. If you want the, the writing dark or light, so from here, we use 75%, 450 dpi, Okay, you can change it, it's up to you. We use generally 75. So this is the density, dark writing or light writing. After that, the second important uh, option for you is the print speed. It is now 150 millimeter per second. Now, if I change this option, what does this mean? This means the writing uh, area okay I can make it smaller or bigger totally smaller or totally bigger from the four from the two direction right left up down sorry up down right left so totally it will be smaller or bigger from print speed we use generally 150 mm. yeah 
So you can write the speed. If you wanted to just make it a half smaller, you can make it 75 or 100 or whatever you want. Now, we have printed one, two, three. I will explain about just one and the other are the same. You can enable or disable one cartridge, one head. You can get it offline or online. So it's in, uh, enabled now. After that, you can uh, make the delay of the writing. So if the writing is if the writing is not on the area you want it, you can make it uh, earlier or a bit postponed. So you can it, you can move it forward, backward using this important uh, option, delay. Now the delay is 40 millimeters. So if you need to move it a little bit down or up, you will you need to play around this to make it, for example, 50 millimeter or 30 or whatever. So this is the delay of the writing. After that, I have product direction. You can make the writing from the right to the left or from the left to the right. Product direction, left to right or right to left. I'll go back. The last option is print direction. You can make it upside down. Okay, you can revert it, the writing. You can revert, re, 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 rotate the writing upside down, print direction zero or 100 degrees rotated and by this uh -huh. okay. okay one thing more okay I will show you I will get a, a fault in the system for example no cartridge I take it off and I have a fault I will press on the fault to know what is the problem so he said no cartridge I will put it back Press again on the fault and reset the fault. Replace the cartridge, for example. So he is detecting the cartridge. I'll press OK. And he is checking if OK. Now it is offline. I will go online again. And that's it about this program. OK, okay that's it. All the necessary and needed comments has be, uh, have been explained in this video. Thank you very much.